Paul Dirac was a renowned theoretical physicist who made significant contributions to the field of quantum mechanics and the understanding of the nature of matter and energy. He was born in Bristol, England on August 8, 1902 and died on October 20, 1984 in Tallahassee, Florida. Throughout his life, Dirac was known for his brilliant mind and his ability to make groundbreaking discoveries in the field of physics. Dirac's early life was marked by a strong interest in mathematics and physics. He attended the Bristol Secondary School and later studied at the University of Bristol, where he received his Bachelor of Science degree in 1921. After graduation, he pursued graduate studies at St. John's College, Cambridge, where he received his Ph.D. in 1926. Dirac's first major contribution to physics came in 1928, when he published a paper on the theory of quantum mechanics. In this paper, he introduced the concept of the wave function, which is a mathematical representation of the state of a quantum system. The wave function, also known as the wave function of a quantum system, is a mathematical function that describes the state of a quantum system. The wave function is a complex valued function that assigns a probability amplitude to each possible state of a quantum system. The probability of finding the system in a particular state is given by the square of the absolute value of the wave function at that state. The wave function can be used to calculate the probability of various outcomes of measurements on a quantum system and to predict the behavior of the system over time. This concept would become one of the most important tools in quantum mechanics and is still widely used today. In the following years, Dirac made several other important contributions to the field of quantum mechanics. He proposed the theory of antiparticles, which later came to be known as Dirac holes. He also developed the theory of quantum electrodynamics, which explained the interactions between photons and electrons. These theories were groundbreaking and have been used to explain a wide range of phenomena in physics. In 1933, Dirac was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his contributions to the field of quantum mechanics. This was a significant honor, and it recognized the importance of his work in the field. Despite his many achievements, Dirac was known to be a private and reserved person. He was not interested in fame or public recognition and was content to focus on his work. He was also known to be a bit eccentric, and he was not always easy to work with. However, his colleagues respected him for his intelligence and his ability to make groundbreaking discoveries. In later years, Dirac's health began to decline, and he retired from his position at the University of Cambridge in 1969. He moved to the United States, where he became a professor at Florida State University. He died on October 20th, 1984, at the age of 82. Paul Dirac's life and work have had a lasting impact on the field of physics. His contributions to quantum mechanics have been widely recognized, and his theories continue to be used today. His work has helped to deepen our understanding of the universe and has laid the foundation for many of the advances in physics that have been made in recent years. He will always be remembered as one of the greatest minds in physics and as a pioneer in the field of quantum mechanics.